I had my first boyfriend when I was a freshman in high school. And I really had kind of taken a step back from God. And, um, and I thought that it was enough to say I'm a Christian. One night, we had um, a youth group. And I was at the youth group. And I cannot remember who the speaker was. But he'd asked everybody to kind of come down to the front if they needed prayer. And so I'd come down to the front. He was going across and putting his hand on people in, in the front of the stage and just saying things over them and, and stuff like that. And I can't even remember now what word for word what he said. But all I know is when he said it, it was like this light bulb came on and realizing that I have to live this way. I can't just, it's not enough to say I do this, I do this, I do this. I have to actually have a lifestyle that shows that now. And I also had felt a little bit like maybe God didn't want me around anymore either because I had kind of pushed him back. But I felt this real, true, no, I want you here, but you have to be all in. But then when I started my freshman year of college, God really helped me to understand what my direction was going to be in my life. I decided to go to Texas Women's University since it was still in Denton, and um, decided to go an English route and become a teacher. So in 2008, I started teaching in the fall. And God really showed me favor with that as well. I had done my student teaching at the Colony High School, and I really stayed plugged in with those teachers that I met there and did subbing there and the door opened at the right time for me to have a place at that school and um, it was during that time where it was really hard for teachers to find jobs. I was just blessed to have gotten to get a position in a core class because uh, that was very difficult. But then God opened another door for me while I was there. I got to assist for a year with their drill team director and she decided she wanted to move on, and so I got to take her place and became the teacher and the director for their dance program. But during that time of transitioning into being the drill team director, um, I had just gotten married, and um, he had two daughters, and I got to become their stepmother. And so that was a time of transition for me too, um, where I really didn't know what to expect in that life change. So as I'm teaching and married with kids, um, I decided to go and get my master's. I always felt kind of a calling to being a counselor. Um, so I decided to go that direction with it. But I feel like my real call, um, and part of it is, part of why I want to go into professional counseling is, um, blended families and kind of becoming a part of that. And I've looked for things like blended family Bible studies and devotionals and they just don't really exist out there. And so one of the things I really want to be able to do with my counseling degree too is um, to be able to work with those families and navigating that really difficult transition. Um, so Kevin and I had decided that my 2014-2015 school year would be the last year that I would be working. And so last year, 2013-2014, I was approached by some staff at Scent Church, or at that time Collin Creek, um, and they had asked me if I was still planning on not teaching the next year and was wondering if I would be interested in being um, the children's director. I just felt like financially, I couldn't put that on my family. And um, a couple weeks after the offer had been kind of put in front of me or the idea had been put in front of me, um, Kevin contacted me during my school day and said, hey, you know, if you are thinking about doing the children's ministry thing, you know, I think you should do it. Don't worry about us financially. Um, we'll figure it out if it's something you think you need to do. We took the steps and we had the conversations and um, you know, I just felt that it is where God had called me to be at, at that time and so God just really blessed me. I'm Caroline Walton and I'm sent. <laughs>